Hello guys, Ashraf over here. Today, I will show you how to solve Pi 0W connectivity issues on Prusa Mark 3S. Attaching Pi to the printer is good and all, but having this USB dangling outside the printer is kind of ugly. You can use this GPIO and step, but that comes with issues as well. First problem is, I can't connect my Pi 0W to my hidden Wi-Fi network because I set it to hidden on purpose. This one is not related to the serial over GPIO connections. Second problem is, I can't get Pi 0W to connect to the printer after disconnecting the serial connection for the first time. And the final problem is, this one probably only on Prusa printers fitted with MMU2S. After serial connection has been established, MMU2S will move on its own. Let's do the following steps to solve these problems. Okay, firstly, we fire up party. I can access my Pi Zero or OctoPi via octopi.local. Login is Pi. The default password is Raspberry. Now we are logged in. This is for the demonstration purpose only for the first problem, which OctoPi unable to connect to the hidden Wi-Fi network that you set up. Go down to the network section, WPA over here. Usually we have SSID and PSK only. But you need to have another line added manually, which is scan underscore SSID equals one. This will instruct the Linux OS to connect to this particular hidden Wi-Fi network. Okay, now we are going to solve the second and third problem. The second problem is the serial connection between the GPIO and the INC board. The third problem is after the Pi 0W has been connected to the Prusa Mark 3S MMU2S, the MMU2S suddenly moving on its own. I found out about this GitHub page via Octoprint threads regarding the Prusa Mark 3's problem, especially the connectivity via Pi 0's GPIO to the INC board. And this page really helped me a lot in terms of the problem number two. So we go down here to the table of content. We need to disable the Bluetooth. And over here also we can see the Wi-Fi can't see hidden zone topic and scan for Wi-Fi zones. So these two topics over here may help you in terms of the first problems as well. Now to solve the second problem is to turn off the Bluetooth. Click on that. We are instructed to run via SSH and type in this command sudo nano boot slash config.txt. We can just copy this. Go back to the party. Right click and enter. Now we go down to all the way down at the end of the file. We can just copy over here, this one, and we paste. Mine already pasted over here. Hit Ctrl X, and press Y to save, and enter to save the file name, and you're good to go. And next, we are going to insert this three sudo command over here to disable the Bluetooth service. Copy this command, one by one, enter. And lastly, there you have it. I've done this previously, so that is why I don't get any kind of message that the Bluetooth service, this particular Bluetooth service has been stopped. And for the second command, your mileage may vary. For me, which is the Pi 0W, I get this fail to disable unit. Unit file blue alsas dot service does not exist. Probably the blue alsa service is not present on the Pi 0, but might be on the Pi 3 or Pi 4. For the third command is to stop the generic Bluetooth service, I think. Now we have solved the second problem we are able to connect to the INC board. But hold on, the third problem is not solved yet, which is the MMU2S is moving on its own. To do that, we type in this command, 
sudo respy-config. You may have to type in your password again. Go down to interfacing options. For me, I recommend to disable the camera because we are running on Pi 0W. Running camera module on Pi 0W will impact the performance. So, better to disable that. Click no. Camera interface is disabled. And we go down back to interfacing options. And we go to P6 serial. Hit enter. It will ask you, would you like to log in shell to be accessible over serial? We press no. And then another set of question. Would you like the serial port hardware to be enabled? Yes. Now you'll be shown this. The serial login shell is disabled. The serial interface is enabled. Hit OK. And we should be good to go. Finish. Now you should restart the Octopi. Wait for a few minutes and then head over to your favorite browser. Mine is Brave Browser. The Octoprint should be able to establish a serial connection to the IC board right now. To verify that, press the connection over here. The serial port for me is slash dev slash ttyama0. This is actually the GPIO port for the serial connections. We open up settings. In the serial connections, if the TTYAMA0 is not present in the serial port drop down list over here, you need to add additional serial ports, which is the dev TTYAMA0. And the port rate should be 115200. Some of you might has some cases that the dev TTY S0 appearing. So just add that into the blacklisted serial ports as you are unable to connect to the TTY S0 over here. Next, we need to configure our printer profiles. Mine is Prusa Mark 3S MMU 2S. I will show you my configuration over here. The print bed should be rectangular, origin lower left, heat bed is present, X to 50, Y to 10, Z to 10. Custom bounding box unchecked. Axis, the speed is 10,200, 10,200, 720 and 7200 mm per minute. Hot end and extruder. Nozzle diameter is 0.4 mm. Number of extruder is 5. Shed nozzle is checked because I am using the MMU2S. Now hit confirm. Next, we need to head over to features section and uncheck the enable model size detection and one if model exceeds print bed. I heard that there are few users reported that they have some errors due to this one. And hit save. Connect to your printer and you should be good to go. That's it guys. I hope that this video is helpful for you with the Pi 0W issues with Prusa Mark 3S. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.